proceed to our conversation. Within the ornate chamber of the State House of Representatives and among the dwellers of the Capitol hallways just outside. This is the finest shoeshine man in Atlanta. More than ever before, style counts. I think I've got some nice penny loafers. I have a briefcase that is not eel skin and it's missing a strap where my puppy chewed it off. Very old, very beat up. In a place trafficking in power and access, where the dress code is on the professional side, all of a sudden it's chic to be not so chic. I go to a discount suit place uh, and get discount suits, sometimes secondhand. Shoes, I have uh, beat up cowboy boots. All this fashion consciousness derives from the tone set by the new governor, Roy Barnes, during his State of the State speech last yes, week. He not only attacked insurance lobbyists, you know they're not telling you the truth, but he attacked their attire as well. And while you're out there in the hall, watch those eel skin briefcases and alligator shoes. I have plenty of shoes, no alligators. Eel skin? Near and near eel skin. It's created a certain defensiveness among the denizens of the Capitol hallways. I work for a nonprofit. You know, we can't afford the real thing. So you aspire to <laughs> alligator. <laughs> Not today, I don't. <laughs> An ill briefcase could possibly scare me away. So you agree with the governor? Those people are liars? Uh, quite a few of them are paid to lie, and they're just doing their job. No, that's not true. That's not true. Uh, I got to pay alligator shoes, you can trust me. All of this latter-day fashion criticism gets under the skin of alligator-selling shoe man Louis oh. Shamaria. There's all kind of people that love alligator shoes. They always have. Been crazy about them. These retail for $900. We get $495 for them. People who wear alligator shoes got a lot of class. You feel slicker wearing these? I don't feel like I'm a dishonest person because I'm wearing them. It's expensive, yes, but it's quality. Likewise, the booster of eel skin, who says she knows a gubernatorial fashion slur when she hears it. As far as an eel skin briefcase is concerned, when's the last time you priced a really nice leather? and you've got the same kind of quality, durability, and a little more pizzazz. And it's not a bad thing. It's, it's terrific stuff. And these days, it's hard to find in the state capitol, where lobbyists carry their downscale canvas and vinyl bags with a certain proletarian pride. I was getting up my vinyl and cardboard case last night and decided that I'd show that we're a reasonably low budget operation. No, I'm more inclined to talk to somebody if they're in Birkenstocks. There is some eel and there are some alligator shoes, boots, and um, it, you get all kinds of reptiles out here in the hallway. 